Well, you're in the checkout line at the supermarket and you're buying the same foods you buy every week, but your grocery bill keeps getting bigger. Tonight, how you can fight food inflation. Suzanne Wheeler Klein is a mom to three hungry boys and it shows on her grocery bill. I typically spend $300 a week. Recently, she's noticed that some of her favorite foods are eating away at her budget. Cookies in the cookie aisle, crackers, those can be pricey. Cereal is also very expensive. Those creeping prices are thanks to inflation. Ricky Volp, research economist for the U.S. Department of Agriculture, says you can expect your grocery basket to cost 2.5 percent to 3.5 percent more over the course of this year. And while that inflation rate is considered normal, the reason why consumers are experiencing sticker shock is mostly because food prices are already high. We know that they rose a lot in 2011, and we're not expecting them to come down. Inflation is especially hard to swallow for meat and fish. Volp says prices are up across the board, particularly for beef and veal. The inventory of cattle and hogs in the U.S. was, re was reduced quite a bit, and now we have strong and growing demand for these foods. And that's a recipe for high prices, and there's no end in sight. But there are ways to fight back. Jessica Patel with Bankrate.com suggests trying a less expensive cut of beef or substituting poultry also. You can get canned chicken now and canned fish and things like that, and even frozen fish and frozen meats that can wind up saving you more. Other categories hit hard by inflation include fats, oils, cereal, bakery products, and packaged foods. To save dough, skip pre-portioned goodies and bag your own snacks. Also look beyond what's at eye level. A lot of times if you're in a rush, you'll just grab it and go. You can look above or below that eye level and a lot of times find bargains and deals. The silver lining is dairy, eggs, fresh fruits and vegetables where Volp expects to see smaller increases in 2012 as compared to this time last year. Vegetables across the board are down. The lettuce is down about 21 percent. Tomatoes are down about 29 percent. Boost your bottom line even more by grabbing what's in season. Finally, don't knock tried and true saving strategies. Buying in bulk, buying when things are on sale, looking at the local circulars, clipping coupons, they all really help to add up. Buying meat in bulk and eating leftovers has paid off for Suzanne. I just try to make sure that we finish off what is in the refrigerator. And here's one more tip. You can swing by the bakery on your way to the checkout line. You could find day-old rolls, muffins, and breads also on discount. And I know I'm always a big sucker for the two for five dollars or two for six dollars. Me too. And it never occurs to me that when I pay three dollars for just one of these, but if I see two for six dollars, I will buy not one but two. Well, and you have a family, so at least it semi makes sense. <laughs> I don't. Especially when, especially <laughs> when those double almost everything. <laughs> I know, but it works on the two four thing. Yeah, yeah it does. I know.